Hello everybody, my name is Gojira Matthew Zilla and welcome to my review of the Running Press Godzilla 2014 Lights and Sounds minifigure. So I guess we might as well just go ahead on to Sculpt and Paint, which in all honesty there's not really a lot here. I mean there is some detail here at the head. There's like this huge seam line, which may I say something here. It it doesn't look built well. Like sometimes the seam line would kind of split apart, and then I had to push it back together. I don't know. I guess it's something either a fault on my end or their end. But for the eyes, it's just a dot. Couldn't couldn't get a pupil like with a sharpie, in there. There's really no detail for the nose, but to the to the gills, it there are gills. Here at the chest, it's kind of with a brown wash in there. Combined with that with the, the glossy seal spray that's throughout the figure. If we take a look at the arms, you can see there's a bolt hole, which um you can cover that with the arm. With the arms, though, there's not much detail aside from the fingers. You can definitely tell those are fingers. Moving down to the... Moving to the spikes. Again, not much detail because of how small this sucker is. But to me, those kind of look like mountains. Not gonna lie. Or rocks. Yet again, Godzilla 2014's dorsal fins do look like rocks, so... I guess they kind of got there they're just not that kind of shape so moving down to the legs you can definitely see there's like um like line patterns for the legs kneecaps and then looking at the bottom of the feet just smooth plastic very prominent toes there yeah i like this a lot looking down here there's the battery compartment and then here's where it gets a little different. The tail is more rubbery than it is plastic. And also, you gotta attach it yourself. Like, it comes attached out of the box like this. And then you gotta put it back together. And then it's kind of a different shade of, um... Shade of black or gray. I don't know why that is. I guess it's because of the material. But there's only one row of spine, spines right here, which I guess it's somewhat of a good transition. Also, he has a really short darn tail. Like, I don't know. I don't like the tail length. So, okay, back uh, to the tail. Copyright information there. And there's still some detail there. Copyright information. Not sure if you guys can see that. Let it focus. There we go. So, overall, decent sculpt and paint. Don't know why I have this thing. I think that's a trouble piece. I don't know why I had that. But, yeah, overall, very small, but decent paint and all that. Yeah. So, what about articulation? And surprisingly, he does have some movement. He has uh, some arm rotation that can go all the way around. Same with this one. Uh, but do keep in mind there's a bolt hole right here, so I recommend just keeping this arm, unless if you're displaying it like this, then you can have it like that. And for the tail, there really isn't much. You can get sort of an up and down motion, but that's really a, about it. Well, I think it's because of this little peg right here, part of the peg. It doesn't allow it to move. It was just, if it was just a full circle, then maybe you'd be able to move it. But realistically, you're only going to get some arm movement. So here's where it kind of gets redeeming a bit, but at the same time a bit disappointing. What I mean by this is the accessories. For accessories, it comes with this sticker book, which I actually don't have the stickers anymore. But it, it came with, like I think, a set of ten stickers. Or it, I think there's some with Godzilla and the ocean, Godzilla, like just regular PNG. I don't know, there's just a whole bunch of stickers in here. And I think it it's a 
pretty good looking booklet. I mean, you have Godzilla logo himself, and nothing really on the back. So I'll just put that to the side. And for the figure, it's called Lights and Sounds, which if you press this dorsal spine, you'll get this. Which, you guys can't really see that with the light on. So this is literally the darkest I can get it, because it's daytime as I'm recording this, so... Let's look at it again. There you go. So, yeah, you can see that it has lights and sounds, which... For $15, I'd say, this is decent, but... There are better alternatives in terms of price that you can get more out of your out of a bank for your buck. And this is what I mean. Jax Pacific recently released these battle packs of Godzilla King of the Monsters. One of them features Godzilla and another monster. That you can get for about 10 9 bucks. Also online there's these floating these are floating around these Gashpon bootlegs. I've uh, two of the ten, and I actually got these for about five dollars, which is a really good price. So, and this is fifteen. This is this is barely bigger than the Godzilla that it comes with. So, and keep in mind, it comes with five Godzillas and five other monsters: Gigan, Zilla, Mecha Godzilla, Angus, and Godzilla Junior. So. I'm not sure if it's really worth it. I'd say if it's about, if you see one about for about $10, go for it. So, buy or don't buy. In all honesty, this figure is decent. It's not too good, it's not too bad. It's just somewhere in the middle. The figure itself is not too shabby. It's, it's sort of cheaply built. I mean, the seam line is really bad. Sometimes I even have to push it back and it's push it back together. The articulation is understandable because there's only like two points of articulation. The gimmick is unique, but could be executed a lot better. And the sticker book is mostly just the same picture of Godzilla with the arm up and him just looking off to the side. I wish we had some more, like, I don't know, the roaring, him roaring at Ford, you know, that scene, but when he goes to fight the Muto, or the victory scene where he does the kiss of death, or maybe an atomic breath poster, hmm? But, uh, it is what it is, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give this figure, at best, a 7 out of 10. If I had to give it any lower, I'd probably go 5.5. So, 7 out of 10 it is. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, buy, don't buy, or just wait. In all honesty, I think this figure is decent. It's not too good, it's not that bad.